my guests have arrived, including my two fish loathing fishermen, Trevor and Lugs. Crab fisherman Rob and Hogs Pudding producer Charles. So what I need you to do, do you want to do? You know how cool? Yeah, I'll let you <laughs> We're going to be deep frying the sand eels, just like you would white bait. I don't know what these are going to take for yeah. I'll also be frying off chilies and spring onions and get crab fisherman Rob chopping while I show Trevor no. how to make a light batter. <laughs> That's just corn flour and mineral water. Right. Yeah, and so instead of beer, that idea of aerating it. Yeah. Now. Was that aerating it? Aerating. 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 <laughs> aerating. <laughs> then Trevor rolls eels in flour. <laughs> Toss them in there. Right. Like that. What a plate. It could end up anywhere. <laughs> 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 so we're gonna... I dip them in the batter. Put them in there before quickly deep frying them. And to make it more vibrant, I throw in the chopped chilies and spring onions. Spice it up. Time for Lugs and Trevor to have their first taste of sand eels. Lugs, I know you're not a big fish fan. No, it's very nice, though. <laughs> <laughs> Things are always better when someone else cooks yeah. them. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's lovely. Yeah. Have I converted yeah. you to the joys of sand eels? Definitely. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure yeah. you have. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Surprising, actually. I thought they'd be surprisingly nice. <laughs> yeah. I think they taste a bit like sprats. The fishermen and the other guests all seem to like the catch of the day. We'll have to do this dip. again with mackerel. Mm. That's good. Mm. 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 They're really good, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. They really are. Time to clear this up. Now, I've actually got a little special take on a Devon classic. While they polish off the rest, I'm going to make my version of a local speciality. Devon cream tea. Starting with jam. Jam, you can buy it, but it's so simple to make a really quick strawberry jam. Caramelised sugar. And by caramelising it up first, you've got to get the freshness of the fruit, but a really rich, caramelly, jammy flavour. Slice up a punnet of strawberries. It's like an instant jam. It's not going to last a long time, but it captures that perfect, fresh flavour of summer berries. I'm going to split a vanilla pod. Scrape the seeds. Using the seeds, you'll get that great subtle flavour. It's not too strong. I'll put the pot in there and then toss all of those berries in. And they'll release all of their juices and sizzle down to make a delightful caramel strawberry jam. Add a little knob of butter. Instead of scones, I'm going to make pikelets. Pikelets were my favourite after school snack and for my daughters I always do them. They're quick, almost instant and are a great way to enjoy that perfect cream. I mix some wholemeal flour with baking powder and an egg and some milk. Give it a whisk. Incredibly quick. And you don't need to let it rest and it's done. Really that simple. Heat a frying pan with a little butter and spoon in the batter mix. Now flip those over and just give them a few more seconds on the other side and they're done. Pikelets, strawberry jam and Devon clotted cream. There we go. You'll like them because they look Pass like crepes. Around, guys. Oh, thank you. I don't think she's going to let them go. That's not going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try one of them. They look lovely. They do look lovely. Mm. Here we go, guys. Do you want me to grab right. a few of those? Mm. Yeah, come grab a thing when you Deep cook it. You know. Deep flavour from the strawberries, aren't they? Yeah, really strong. Yeah. Really lovely. strong flavour. I'm so pleased my guests approved of my cream tea. My weekends ended on a high. Layla.